Hello everyone, my name is Jose Diaz. I am the online learning manager here at FIT, SUNY. And uh, today we're gonna be covering uh, how to record lecture videos using Screencast-O-Matic, a free tool. Uh, once we do that, we're gonna move our video over to YouTube. We're gonna learn how to upload your video, how to protect your video, and uh, how to edit your transcript and um, how to get the embed code from YouTube. So the tool that we're going to use today is called Screencast-O-Matic. You can find it at screencast-o-matic.com and um, like I said it's a free tool. It allows you to record up to 15 minutes. You can do uh, screen capture, you can use the webcam if you're just doing a talking head video or if you're doing both, if you want to record your slides and if you also want to have picture-in-picture uh, picture, a small screen of your talking head in the corner, it's also possible. And so the way it works is anything inside this box is being recorded. It's a, kind of like a zebra black and white box. So anything outside that box will not get recorded first few things you would like to check is uh, over here where it says narration you want to make sure that your mic is on that uh, so right here I'm using an external mic and if you have a green meter you are getting audio the resolution of the screen changes if you are doing a screen capture anything whenever you grab the corners of like a, for example here as you can see this, the resolution will change and um, over here we have preferences and on the bottom left here you have the record button and you have the gear button so right now I'm going to remove this, this is in my way you can always bring it back by clicking the uh, the gear button so as soon as you're ready to record you click on this button and it will give you a timer so I'm going to do a quick screen capture and I'll show you how it works there's a there's your timer and it says go so right now we're recording um, over here you can see the mouse the cursor is moving around and uh, you can also highlight the cursor so you you can emphasize whatever it is you're pointing and once you're done recording uh, oh I also over here in the bottom you can see the 15 minute max as soon as you hit that 15 minute max the video will stop so I'm gonna click pause for now you have an option to trash it if you're not happy with it. I'm going to click on done. Now this will allow me to preview the video that, that I just recorded. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And as you can see uh, the screen uh, was being captured. And let's say I'm happy with this for now. You have now an option. You can save it as a video file. It will go automatically uh, on your desktop. You can also upload it to Screencast-O-Matic and you can also upload to YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and click on upload to YouTube. I have already integrated my YouTube account with Screencast-O-Matic but if you're doing this for the first time it's going to ask for permission so that Screencast-O-Matic can integrate with your YouTube account. So what you would do, you would just click the allow button and then you would just have to do that one time and um, your Screencast-O-Matic will be connected to your YouTube account. This is another cool feature about Screencast-O-Matic. It allows you to change the title, the description of your video, you can even add tags. You can here change whether you want the video to be public, private, or unlisted. Basically, public means anyone can see your video. Unlisted means only those who have the link to your video can see the video. Private means only you can watch your video. I like the highlight cursor option because it allows me to emphasize where I want 
students to look at on the screen. And over here we have captions, but we have the free account, so we don't we we won't be able to transcribe our videos from here. And this this is one of the main reasons that we're using YouTube uh, to make our videos more accessible with the auto-generated captions that YouTube provides. Once you're done uh, making changes here, you can click on the publish button. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a title because I think it's very important that you give your title, you give uh, your videos a good title. And I can't type today. Screencast O Matic demo. You can make these changes on the YouTube side, but it's really cool to, you know, to be able to actually do these changes before you bring the video over to YouTube. And I think we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click publish. Now you see a, a window here that says publish to YouTube and you see uh, the percent. So depending on how long your video is, uh, the longer it will take to encode. So this new window pops up. It allows you to share your videos with social media here like your email, Facebook, Google Classroom or Twitter. And you can also copy the link. We're not going to use none of these uh, because what we're going to do is we are going to grab the embed code from YouTube and that's what we're going to use to embed the, the video into Blackboard. Okay, so now we're going to move over to our YouTube channel. and So we're now we're at YouTube.com. I am connected with my FIT email account and FIT is a Google school so if you log in with your FIT email um, and you open a new tab for example if you open a new tab and type in youtube.com if you already logged into your Gmail account uh, you will be automatically logged into your YouTube account so over here uh, you click you can click on the your avatar and in the bottom here where it says create creator studio that's where we want to go this will open up the dashboard and on this dashboard you have a menu on the left side you over here you have a uh, what what looks like the video manager and on the right you have analytics but uh, I'm interested in looking at our video manager just to see all the videos that I have in there and now this is your video manager. So this is just this right here is the video that I just did on Screencast-O-Matic. It automatically got uh, uh, pushed into my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, this video yet hasn't been transcribed. The reason I can tell is because it doesn't have the CC button next to it. YouTube automatically generates the captions for you. Uh, it, depending on how long the video is. Um, it might take longer if, for example, if your video is five or ten minutes long, it'll take a little longer for you to, to auto generate those captions for you. So, over here, I'm going to click on the edit button. And so, we're in the Screencast O Matic demo. This is the screen capture that I did using Screencast O Matic. We see our title over here. We see that a short description that says recorded using Screencast O Matic. We can see if the video is unlisted. Let's say, for example, you, if you forgot to make the video unlisted on Screencast O Matic, you can click here and make it unlisted. Or if you want to change it to public or private, you can still do so from the edit screen. Over here, you get the link, the video URL to the video. You get some information as to when the video was uploaded, what's the duration of the video. And um, what I want to draw your attention over to the top menu where you see subtitles. So if you click on subtitles, so here what you would do is you would click English, set language, and as you can see, since the, we just uploaded the video, there are no captions for this video. So I'm going to show you a video that I already did before and it has captions. 
So this video down here, as you can see, has a CC button. If I click on it, then I go back to the, the subtitles button on the top. Down here, you see a button that says published English automatic. So this, once you see the automatic, this means that this is an auto-generated uh, transcript that is done by YouTube. So I'm going to click on that. So on the right side, you see the video. On the left side, you see the transcript. But they are not clickable yet. So over here, if you click on Edit, and now I can click on Video. For example, if I, if I see a mistake, I can correct it. I see one already here. It says, Hello, FIT, and it has FI space capital T. So I want to go ahead and correct that. I click, I, I click inside there and I click the delete button and just put a capital F and capital I now it says hello FIT Deborah Peyton Jones I'm the volunteer coordinator and today we are so I, I must say YouTube has done an amazing job in the last year or so the the uh, auto transcription I think is about 98 to maybe even 99 percent accurate there are going to be some mistakes here and there especially if there's noise in the room and or if you have a heavy accent or multiple people speaking there will be more errors if that's the case but so if you click on the play button as you can see um, so video plays and you can see that it's uh, I don't know I'm not sure if you can hear the audio but um, you can follow along and you can see that the caption is synced and you can pause and make your corrections once you're done making the correction, you can click on the Save Changes button and then click Publish. Uh, once that is done, let's go back into our Video Manager and click on Videos. Once you have that done and your video is captioned, uh, next thing you will do is you will click on the title of the video and maybe you click on it one more time. What we want to do is we want to get this share button on the bottom here. Click on that. Oh, my video's still playing in the back there. Let me click pause. Let me pause my video. Okay, there is pause. Oh, you can see the the cursor is highlighted. That's what we wanted. I'm going back here, I'm going to click share. And what we want is the embed. We don't want the URL link. What we want to do is we want to, we want to grab the embed code so we click on embed the left side here you see the video on the right hand side you see the HTML code this is the embed code that you're going to use to to uh, embed the video into blackboard a cool feature that uh, YouTube has is you can start the video at any point for example if I do uh, I want to I want the video to start at the 10 second mark you can do that uh, right now I'm not interested in doing that so I'm just going to take that off uh, very important to notice that there are many options below so don't forget to scroll down and one thing we don't want is show suggested videos when the video finishes we don't want that we don't want our students seeing other videos other YouTube videos we do want to show player controls we do want that and we do want to show show video title and player actions so that we do want uh, so then we click on the copy button that copies over the embed code and now we're going to go over to Blackboard so right now I'm going to sign into the FIT portal on the top here I'm going to click on the Blackboard icon I'm going to sign into Blackboard I am now going to open my sandbox course here. And now I'm going to go to my content page. And I want to find the folder where I want my video to live. Let's say I want my video to live in unit one, this folder here. So I click on that folder. That folder opens up. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on build content. I'm going to choose create an item. I'm going to give it a name. 
I'm going to call it screen cast omatic demo. And this is the WYSIWYG here. And I'm, I'm going to click on the HTML button. Because remember, we copied our embed code. And now I'm going to paste over our uh, embed code. On a Mac is Command V. On a PC is Control V. Now I want to point out that in, within this code here, you have the width at 560 and the height at 315. These numbers can be changed according to your liking. Uh, I'm happy with 560 by 315. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the update button. You're going to see a yellow box here. Don't, don't panic. It's OK. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. So now over here, if you scroll down to the bottom, you see the video that's embedded. Like I said before, you can always change the width and the height of your video. Um, if you go back and click Edit, and if you click on the HTML button over here, you can go back in and change the height. If, you, if you're not happy with the height or the width, you can always go in there and change it to whatever size you want. So I'm happy with 560 by 315. Let me click Cancel. And there you go. So our video is embedded in our Blackboard course.